All right, so we're on the river today doing a little metal detecting. I'm hoping to have a really, well, a good time and hopefully we're gonna find a few things. Let me show you what we're doing. So this is the river. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way down through here and then we're gonna cross over and work our way back up on the other side. Hopefully there's some bullets and belt buckles and cannonballs over there, maybe a musket or two. I found all of that here in the past. So let's get to it and work our way on down the river. See what we can find. Well, I just found a nice little fired mini ball. Uh, no water action because it, uh, it's really cloudy because I'm walking downstream here. Got that conical base and you see it's all mushed up. So that tells us it's fired. I know some of you guys don't like bullets, <laughs> but I do. So I'm going to keep digging them. This is probably going to be a Civil War bullet here. Can't guarantee it. It's reading a little bit higher than maybe it should, but... You ready? Well, looky here. This is better than a fired Civil War mini ball. This is a fired Civil War Gardner bullet. It's what we call a two groove bullet or two ring. You see it right there. This is a bullet that was 100% made by the Confederacy and most likely in Richmond, Virginia. That's a nice little find right there, my friends. We'll put it in the bag. Not very gently. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the pinpoint here. Sorry about that. I meant to just throw it on top of my glove. So here's the signal. It's giving me a nice little squawk. Notice, well, I don't know, it's bouncing around a little bit. Not as high as a mini ball, but I think it's going to be something halfway decent. I'm going to put you away and we're going to dig it. If you look here in the uh, branches, this is all from a recent flood. It's up to here, 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 up to there. See, it's right here above my head. So the water would have been another, I don't know, four, five feet above my head right here. Well, you can see it up there too. This was just recently, probably within the past couple of weeks. Well, let me go ahead and dig this target real quick. Unfortunately, I have to kind of scoot underneath here. So <laughs> probably gonna get wet. Whatever it is, is in my hand. And I think it might actually be right there between my little finger and that other finger. Does that look like lead to you? I'm not sure. Let me get that rock out of there. Ah, one-handed. Whoops, I bet that was it right there. Um, that was a little piece of lead. I suspect it's going to be like a shaving off of a fired bullet. The lead is really soft, so if it hits a sharp rock, it can just shave uh, little slivers off of it, split the bullet in two, or anything like that. It could be melted lead, which would be nice, because that would mean there'd be a camp right up in here, and we could find belt buckles and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to have to get that back out of the water. So I found it again, and uh, that's exactly what it is. It's a shaving off of a fired bullet. If that was melted lead, it wouldn't have those like sharp edges on it like that does. It'd be more like just a little blob. Uh, but that has sharp edges. That tells me that's either, uh, that's a fired bullet of some sort. So I was able to cross over to this side. Now, I'm not finding a whole lot. I just found this, which is part of a fishing rod. That's like a zinky material right there, white metal. So it gave a really good squeak. Not getting any bullets or anything yet. But the only thing I found is cold. <laughs> it's a bigger piece of iron there with a something squeaking next to it. I'll dig that too. But I'm going to go ahead and put you away. Kind of dig it on my own because it's just uh just a little bit too deep for me to hold the camera and dig at the same time so this is kind of a weird little spot i'm digging a bunch of uh, fence wire uh, i dug this little thing here i thought it was lead but it might actually be part of that fishing uh rod you know it might be part of the reel i'm not sure but there's some pottery in here too that's older pottery well, i should have got you out for this treasure that's a an aluminum handle on a uh, fishing net so somebody is probably down here in a boat at some time and lost their net great sounding object but not a great object for my collection <laughs> hey we should look for pawpaws it's almost that time of the year usually you can smell them though you can smell that sweetness if they're getting close to being ripe and i haven't smelled that yet today all right we're going to go up to just around that bend hopefully we'll get into a good pile of stuff here before long so I have a nice big piece of pipe here with a great sound. It sounded almost like an artillery shell. And I was really hoping it was going to be disappointed yet again. 
Well, let me show you a few things that were found. Um, I've been finding mostly junk, but I'll be honest with you, I'm getting so cold. I'm probably, you know, and I'm waist deep and I have to get wet up to here whenever I dig anything that I'm probably going to be heading out pretty soon. I'm digging mostly junk. I just dug, this is the last thing I dug right here, which is, I don't know what it is. It looks electrical to me. So I have a piece of a sunglasses here with the rose colored uh, lenses. I've got some sinkers in there. Those are all just lead modern sinkers and one bullet that is uh most likely modern i'm gonna stay here as long as i can but this is probably going to be a very short detection with not too many finds so this is kind of cool right here uh i don't know what it is what it goes to but it's got writing on it i don't know if that's uh i don't know when i first saw it i thought maybe part of a stove <laughs> of course everything's part of a stove uh maybe uh maybe we'll be able to figure that out Huh, let's put her in the bag. Nothing else that'll weigh me down a little bit so I don't float so much. <laughs> Not that I'm really going underwater that much anymore. So I haven't found one of these in a while. You know what it is? This is ye old muskrat trap. This is the kind of trap you would set that, uh, you know, up against a hole in the bank where they go up in there. And when they would swim through it, it would close shut on them and squeeze them to death and uh well hopefully drown them pretty quick but that didn't always happen so i'm getting back up to where the uh, vehicle is parked and i'm in an area getting close to the road and i'm just finding tons of pennies uh, modern pennies unfortunately there's probably one right there there's something there and uh more over there so we'll go ahead and dig one together i think this is the squeakiest one all right there let's go under and see what it is Yeah, it's definitely a uh, zinc penny. One of the modern ones, you can see it's all falling apart. But I think there's a bunch more in here. I might dig one or two more, but if we don't get some good silver sounds, we're going to keep on moving. Well, here's Yawn Lucky Horseshoe. That's a beauty right there. We'll definitely keep her. This is an old style shovel here. You can see how it's got the uh, the back is like that. Man, it's weird it's got a hole in the tip. But yeah, that could be a Civil War air shovel. Um, may not be, but it's definitely older than me. <laughs> That's getting harder and harder to do nowadays. You know why? Then one of the lucky ones. So what's a river hunt without one of these? This is a window weight. I think it says eight on there or six. Anyway, that's a window weight. This would go in a wall uh, to act as a counterweight for a great big window. You know, when you have to lift it up, it could be heavy. So this would uh, be hanging from a rope. It would go up on a pulley and hang in the wall. And it's just a counterweight. So when you lift up, this thing would just make it go down uh, the window go down much easier now they also had these in other types of things too as counterweights but i've always seen them in like uh antebellum houses uh, with the great big windows all right let's go ahead and call it a day we're going to go over some of the relics that i found and some of the junk that i found <laughs> and i'm going to hit the road jack 
try to get warmed up a little bit. All right, so let's just start from the beginning. Well, how about the left instead? Still don't know what this is part of. It's definitely got writing on it. Uh, it says something manufacturing company. I just don't know. I don't know what that's going to be. This is kind of neat. This is a uh, this is just a rock, but kind of looks like a boomerang or something. Uh, probably not going to keep that. We'll put that back in the river, I think. A bunch of little pennies right here. There were uh, quite a few more signals too, so I think there's quite a few more back there. Nothing really worth digging. These are zinc uh, zinc pennies. You can see how they're all corroded. And these would be the, the copper pennies. So they're worth, I think, like, I don't know, a penny and a half, two pennies a piece. That's zinc. Did get a couple Civil War bullets, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I guarantee there's more where these came from. I just kind of scooted on through the area because I was hoping to find some drop stuff on the other bank. Wow, look at that. Look at the, how deep that base is on this one. And that's, uh, that's a three groove bullet, but it's got a really deep base. It's probably Confederate as well. That's a Confederate bullet. Now, a fair number of fishing weights. That's kind of a cutie and a couple others here. You know, those are fishing sinkers. This is as well. That's for a specific type of rig. This is kind of neat. This is a modern bullet, obviously, but it's kind of weird that it's got a copper jacket. Then it's got the uh, lead down there, so I don't know what's going on with that. That's probably a piece of that fishing reel, maybe. I'm not sure. And, you know, maybe that is too. I don't know. That's kind of like an electrical something, though. Not 100%. Beautiful little horseshoe. I love that little devil. That look good in my collection. I uh, didn't show you this one. I dug it. I probably should have. To get a good signal with the aluminum top, and then there's a broken glass attached to it. So that's why it's always very important to wear a nice cut proof glove, at least on your digging hand. That's the handle to a fishing rod, and you can see it's got taped up, so somebody was using that hard. And this is one of the last things we dug, which is a window weight. That's a beauty. This is cast iron. That uh, That's where the rope would have gone through it right there to hang it. All right, what do you think, guys? Not the best day on the river, but any day on the river is better than the day sitting in the office doing the grind in a chair, staring at a computer screen, going tippity tap, tippity tap, which is something I've never really done. So, <laughs> my work days were before computers, believe it or not. God, it's just crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. All right, guys. Well, I mean, I'm still working, but I'm not working in an office anymore. <laughs> We'll see you on the next one. Baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand.